Hello friends! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another video in my 12 Days of Christmas series. Today we are going to make a super cute little hot chocolate mug. We're going to do a little double drip with some sprinkles and we're going to use some patterned vinyl to make it a really fun holiday hot cocoa cup. So I really hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, because you don't want to miss any of the videos I have coming up. I will have a full list of all the supplies I'm using in this video down below in the description box. I'll also have links to all of my social media pages, my Facebook group, and my exclusive mentorship group, MBMM Elite. That is a paid mentorship group where you get to join an exclusive Facebook group. You get additional content from me, like exclusive tutorials. I give out SVGs every month. We do a monthly challenge. There is a ton of fun stuff happening over in the Elite group. So if you want to join the Elite fam, you can go to madebymanianmile.com slash MBMM Elite. And again, that is linked down below in the description box. All right, I really hope you enjoy the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And that's it. Let's go! For this little hot cocoa mug, we are going to be using a 12 ounce skinny straight from Craft Haven. This is a powder coated white one, so it's already ready to go. We are going to go in with this plaid sheet of vinyl. I got this last Christmas and I never used it, so I pulled it out of my stash and we're going to put it on this cup. This is a transparent pattern, so it's good that we are putting it on a white base. Just keep that in mind if you're going to use this pattern in particular or any other transparent pattern. You really want to make sure that you've got a base that's going to show the true color of that pattern or true quality of that pattern. So what I'm doing here basically is just cutting down my vinyl to fit the cup. I don't want to have a whole lot of excess like getting in my way as I try to put this vinyl on the cup. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a space you see there at the bottom of the cup. We're going to glitter that and I just don't want to have to deal with trimming it or trying to get it to lay perfectly flat um, because we're going to glitter it anyway so it doesn't really matter. So I'm making sure here because this is a plaid pattern that I get this lined up the best I possibly can. Um, it's hard with you know stripes or plaids or anything like that. You really want to make sure that you line your pattern up as closely as you can get it. With other busier patterns like a floral or things like that, it doesn't really, really matter too much. Um, but with things that line up, you really want to make sure that they actually do line up. So I took a piece of blue painter's tape, secured one end of my vinyl to my tumbler, and now I cut back a little bit of the backing. This is the same way I always do it for every single vinyl wrap. My process is the same. Um, now I'm going to use the felt edge of my vinyl scraping tool here and just gently smooth the vinyl onto the cup, pushing the backing away in the process. I trimmed off the excess vinyl at the seam of our cup where our two ends of vinyl meet up. And now I'm moving up to the top rim of the cup. I am going to cut off all of this excess vinyl here. Now I find that this transparent vinyl, I don't know, the material maybe, it kind of like breaks off into little pieces as you try to cut it, um, as you can see there. So it was a little, not as flowy as I usually <laughs> like to cut my extra vinyl off, but that's okay. So once I get all of this cut off, I'm going to take my knife at a 45 degree angle and I'm just going to kind of shave that top rim to get all of those excess little vinyl slivers away from the rim. Um, don't worry about like how clean your rim looks at this point because we are going to add a drip to it, so it's going to get covered up anyway. So on top of this, you guys know that I have been very into layering my vinyl lately. So we're gonna do that same thing here. This is a sheet of just white snowflakes. They're printed with white ink. Um, so this white backing is clear. And so what I'm gonna do here, I initially thought that I was going to just basically apply this like a vinyl wrap. And then as I kind of got into it, I was like, you know what? It would just be a whole lot easier if I cut the snowflakes into individuals and then just place them down, you know, almost like you cut it out of just regular white vinyl and place those down, which you can definitely do if you don't have this vinyl. That is a great option. So I applied like a big section of these white snowflakes to my cup and then 
I decided that I was just gonna apply them one by one. So I'm going to just put a whole bunch of these white snowflakes right on top of this plaid vinyl, and then we will move on to our next step. Now this vinyl has a shiny finish to it. It's got a glossy background. So we can actually go right in with our decal right on top of this. We don't have to epoxy first. It says, ho, ho, hot cocoa. And we're just going to put that off. We're gonna apply it just like a sticker. It's printed with white UV ink. So it pops off the background. It really stands out and I think ties this whole thing together. So I'm gonna put that down on my cup and then I'm going to move to the bottom of my cup. I'm gonna put some blue painters tape on that bottom edge of vinyl. And like I said, we are going to glitter it. So I'm gonna base paint it with a mixture of red acrylic paint and the Crystalac glitter glue. And the glitter we're going to be using on the bottom of our cup is Santa Suit from Create by Firefly. This is a like mini chunky red. It's got a little bit of a shift to it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's been one of my favorite colors to use this holiday season. I love it so much. So I'm going to apply that to the entire bottom portion of our tumbler. And once it's on there, I'm going to immediately remove that blue painter's tape. And then I'm going to set it aside and let it dry for at least two hours. Once my glitter layer was dry, it was time to seal it. So I'm going to seal with the same adhesive we used to apply it. This is the glitter glue from the Crystalot Company. And I'm just going to take a small little, I think this is an eyeshadow brush actually, and I'm going to make sure that I seal all of that red glitter. And then I'm gonna clean my brush off and just kind of bring that glitter glue down onto the entire surface of the cup so everything is sealed. And then I'm going to add two coats of epoxy. My coats were very thin. They were maybe, I wanna say like 10 milliliters max. And I use KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy, which is their fast set. And once those were cured, I was ready to go in and do my drip. So I'm going to take quickly a craft knife here and just clean up the rim. I wanna get all of the epoxy that's on the rim off. Um, just make sure that we've got everything ready to go so we can apply our drip. In the past on my channel, I've shown you how you can create a drip using epoxy. So I thought for this cup, I would show you a different method. So this is slick fabric paint from Hobby Lobby. And I have a brown and a white. We're gonna do a double drip, but they're applied the exact same way. So I'm just gonna show you quickly kind of what our technique is going to be here. We're gonna put a little line of the fabric paint on the rim of our cup, and then we'll tap the bottom down so that the drips fall naturally. Now you can make these as thick or as thin as you want. The more paint you put up at that top rim, the further your drips are going to travel down your cup. So just keep that in mind if you've got your decal on already like I do, or you know if you've got elements down at the bottom of your cup that you really want to stay clean. So I'm just going to take this paint as you can see and go around the cup. I'm going around a few times starting out kind of light in my thickness of my paint or how much I'm applying and then I'm going to add a little bit more towards the back of the cup because I want those drips to fall further down. And then you can see here I'm just tapping the bottom of my cup on the palm of my hand to get those drips to start to fall and once you've got your first round down like I'm doing here you can go in and add a little bit more if you want them to be a little thicker or fall, you know fall down a little bit further you can totally do that it's kind of like epoxy in a sense where it will all kind of level out and you won't see that you added all of these different you know layers of your drip so I'm going to let this fully dry before we go in with the white drip here's what the cup looks like after a couple hours and I want to show you what we're going to do for the white because my camera cut out when I did the white drip. So basically what we're going to do is take the white puppy paint and do the exact same thing. We're going to do a line of the paint and then let it naturally drip down. One thing to be sure of when you're doing this double layer drip is that you let your bottom layer dry 
completely before you go in with your second layer. And I'm going to show you why. So I did another strip of the brown puffy paint and I'm gonna go right in with the white on top of that. And you'll see that what you get is kind of this like mixed blending weird look situation here and you don't want that so you want to make sure that your brown or your bottom layer is completely dry before you go in with your drip on top now like i said my phone didn't film my second drip but i did the exact same technique i just waited until my paint was completely dry it did take about three to four hours to completely dry and then i went in and added my white drip i just did a thinner line and i also added in some sprinkles from peachy olive glitters i just placed those in the white drip and once that was totally dry i just left it overnight i went in with my final two coats of epoxy so here is the final result i really hope you guys enjoyed this i hope it was helpful for you I really love how it turned out and I think it's the perfect little hot cocoa mug for Christmas time. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you tomorrow for another 12 days of Christmas video. Okay, love you. Bye. Hey.